Welcome back to Return My Capital. We're going to jump into MPW. This is the ticker Medical Properties Trust? That's a healthcare REIT, real estate investment trust. They're involved with rehab clinics, surgery centers. Um, certainly, if you're following the trends of the aging population in America, you know that this is not a sector that is de declining in importance moving forward. So the demand is there. MPW has been talked about quite a bit over the past couple weeks and certainly a company that's been on my radar. If we take a look at, I mean, down 3% today. If we take a look at the week, down 10%, down 40% for the month. About the same thing for six months, 40 41%. And uh, year to date, oh, 30 and a half percent. So this thing's darn near been in free fall. Again, today, trading for 777. Let's kick it out a little bit further. If we take a look at the five year chart today, trading below eight, go ahead and take a look back five years ago, early 2018. It was trading for, oh, let's say, twice what it is today. Let's scroll down here and look at revenue for those uh, years. So here we are, estimates for 2023, looking at 1.5-ish billion dollars. Uh, same timeline, 2018, you're looking at 800 million. So there's a huge discrepancy here between uh, what earnings are uh, painting that picture as and share price. So Let's dig in a little bit here, see if there's a discrepancy that could be taken advantage of or if there's a bigger issue going on. 52-week range on Medical Properties Trust. Well, low end right about where we're at now, 760 all the way up to 2163. The yield on this uh, REIT has skyrocketed up to almost 14.5%. One of those figures that catches your eye when you're scrolling through doesn't really seem uh, just one you don't see often, right? So first thing that comes to mind is concerns about whether or not a cut is imminent. What you want to uh, pay attention to here is this massive 18.8% short interest. The shorts have really grabbed a hold of this thing over the past month, driven it down 40% all the way down to a market cap of $4.8 billion. It is very heavily traded right now. Volumes a little over, or I should say a little under 6.5 million shares a day. Um, so paying out a $1.16 dividend on a forward basis. Um, yeah, again, almost a 15% dividend yield. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the recent... Uh, Headlines, stories, publications you may have seen on MPW recently. You're uh, you're looking at folks who are maintaining their buy rating, aggressively acquiring the yield. Um, some obviously concerned about the uh, yield being cut, so avoiding it. Um, others looking to take advantage of uh, this massive sell-off, uh, and with uh, with understandable uh, reason there. So. If we take a look at Seeking Alpha's uh, ratings and grades on this, both Seeking Alpha and Wall Street are coming in with buy ratings in terms of the individual factors, valuation, <laughs> for understandable reasons, valuations coming in at an A+. Plus. Um, yeah, certainly uh, easy to understand that. Let's go ahead and find uh, EPS on this thing. Oh, let's scroll down. Price to book, which is what you want to use for REITs. You're looking at uh, a 0.56 price to book. Uh, PE ratio, non-GAAP, 7, GAAP, 5. Uh, EV to sales, 9.4. I, Yeah, it, uh, valuation, it uh, is hard to beat what is going on with MPW right now. Uh, growth, C+, plus. the growth has been quite moderate. We'll get into some charts here in a moment. But yeah, growth, fairly moderate. Profitability, extremely profitable business model. Momentum, understandably, is an F and revisions, D-. minus. It uh, certainly makes sense when you look at the performance of this company over the past year. Seeing here, uh, SA 
Seeking Alpha ratings, Wall Street ratings. You've got analysts, let's see, you've got 14, 17 uh, Seeking Alpha analysts covering and 14 Wall Street. It's a mix of strong buys, buys, holds, one sell. So a little bit all over the place, but again, a consensus buy from those analysts. Uh, a couple of bull points talking about um, excitement over the yield, attractive valuation, um, a bare point being that uh, the high dividend yield just isn't sustainable. This uh, REIT does seem to be focused uh, primarily in the southern states, uh, but no uh, no concentration, ri concentration risk, really, quite diversified. If we look at the revenues here, annually, fairly steady. We saw, you know, nice climb from 19 to 20 to 21. Looks like it's flatlined off a bit from that level, but no significant sharp declines. If we look at quarterly revenue, paints the same picture. Uh, relatively stable fluctuations. Uh, maybe last year, slightly over $400 million in quarterly revenue. Now you're looking at estimates, so about three fifty dollars for uh, Q1 of 2023, 357. dollars If we take a look at earnings estimates, Slight year-over-year year decline um, for 2023 before returning to very minimal uh, increases for 24 and 25. Again, just just estimates. Um, but simply looking at an earnings estimate for 2023 of a 10% year-over-year decline and um, a PE coming in right at five. Uh, it doesn't quite add up why you would be seeing such a sharp sell-off of this with, the, again, that 40% over the past month. Already discussed some of our valuation metrics, profit profitability. We've got net income margins of 57%, return on equity almost 11%. Um, dividends, if you're buying this one, it's certainly with that dividend in mind. Uh, taking advantage of that almost 15% yield, dollar 16 per share on an annual payout basis. Um, do see a payout ratio creeping? Oh, around 77% currently. Normally, it would be a cause concern uh, as a payout ratio approaches that 80%. Of course, it's company and sector specific, but again, this is a REIT. They uh, they are motivated to pay out. Uh, upwards of 80% uh, in dividend uh, as part of the uh, the structure. If we look at the capital structure of uh, MPW, market cap is under five billion now. They carry oh ten and a half billion in total debt. Cash coming in, cash reserves 235 million, so enterprise value of almost 15 billion. So balance sheet does not look particularly healthy. If we take a look at dividend growth, this is where you're coming in with that moderate growth. I believe they rated it as a C plus, um, as well as dividend safety here. You'll see they uh, they rated it as a C plus as well. Growth a D, yield a plus. Yeah, I believe that consistency is an A. They've been paying it out for uh, increasing 10 years, I believe now. In fact, yes, yeah, we see it kick back to 2012 here on our dividend growth history chart. Back in 2012, annual dividend was 80 cents. Ten years later, only up to $1.16. So the growth, really not there. Um, consistent, but consistently small, I would say. However, uh, hard to be upset with a 15% yield. Uh, let's go ahead and get dig a little bit deeper into some charts that we can find here. Let's take a look. Charting. Yeah, here you're seeing S&P 500 over the past year compared to uh, MPW's performance. Uh, S&P 500 in the blue line down just over 10% uh, over the past uh, past year. MPW down 61% over the past year, really starting to trail off here as this year has played out. And that is, again, just in uh, price returns. If we take a look at total return, Obviously, it's going to tighten up that gap a bit just because of the significant yield of MPW. Let's take a look at net income margin. Well, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot, no, does it? Let's see what else we can find in here. Some dividend grades, payout ratio, 
uh, <clears throat> the last announced dividend was uh, 29 cents on a quarterly basis. So we actually did just have that ex dividend date on this one on the 15th, which will pay out on April 13th. So needed to be a shareholder on the uh, March 15th there to take advantage of the next payout. Another series on my channel, guys, is the uh, weekly dividend roundup where I will go through and cover all announced uh, dividend increases, cuts, suspensions. We'll get into the upcoming week's ex-dividend dates so that you know hey, I need to load up on some shares before this date if I want to be included on the next payout. And then I'll also cover the upcoming dividend payouts for the week ahead. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it's going to be a big series for my channel. Again, that's the weekly dividend roundup. And I'm planning to release that video every Sunday morning, I think, at 9 a.m. Eastern. So I had covered MPW on a, uh, on a recent... Uh, dividend roundup on my channel. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and uh, yeah, that series will help you stay in touch with what's going on, especially with uh, <laughs> names like this. When the dividend yield really starts to scream up, you don't want to miss an opportunity to take advantage of a 15% uh, dividend yield uh, when you can. So that, that series will help, uh, help you stay in touch. So hope you enjoyed this quick update. I'm still working out the kinks here. This was Medical Properties Trust, MPW. Been seeing it pop up a lot on uh, coverage from analysts recently with the uh, steep trade-off, again, down 40% over the past year. Um, and it is it is a holding of mine. So I've been paying attention to it. I've been scooping up some shares recently, uh, trying to take advantage of this uh, opportunity. So thanks for tuning in. Um, not about wasting your time. Not going to let this thing run on. Um, I'm all about, yeah, quick hitting information here. Just getting it out to you and uh, letting you go about your day. So I hope you have a uh, great end to your week here and get to enjoy your weekend. Let's make some money. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.